I've known for quite some time that you can use hydrogen peroxide on your waterfalls and streams to clear away that stubborn algae that grows in these areas. Usually I'd just turn off the pumps, spray the affected areas, leave it for a while and then turn the pumps back on. After a few days the algae would be gone. But I've had quite a few people reach out and let me know that they use the hydrogen peroxide as a whole pond treatment and that their fish and plants are happy. So after a bit of research and procrastination, I thought, bugger it, I'm going to give it a go. If you don't already know me, my name is Kev, and the aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, you might like to subscribe and check out my website, ozponds.com. So I'm using a 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. We buy this in a 20 litre container for about 100 bucks delivered to the door. I need to find somewhere where I can pick it up so I'm not paying for a delivery fee. Uh, we use it as a disinfectant around the house. Anyway, I added about two litres that I had left in the container to this pond, which I estimate to be maybe four or 5,000 litres. This was the very next day after application and you can see that the algae has gone white and the water went quite brown. Remember, I applied this to the water body as a whole. I didn't specifically target the areas of algae. From what I've read, it's important not to dose directly into an area where the hydrogen peroxide can directly hit the fish. I added the two litres in slowly at the headwaters of the stream. Like I said, this was the next day and the algae was getting proper dead. So I was really worried that I overdid the dosage and I was going to kill all the bacteria and the small life that lives inside the pond. As you can see, the little mayfly nymphs or whatever they are, are still alive and they're clinging to their rocks. This is the very top of the stream where I added the dosage. And so far there's been no issues with the plants either. So this footage is now five days after I dosed and the water's back to crystal clear. The white dead algae is completely gone. I didn't even remove it. I'm actually very impressed that the rocks look as clean as the day I built the pond. So far there's been no ill effects on the plants throughout the pond or in the stream. And even after five days, the little mayfly larvae are still clinging onto their rocks, happy as Larry, I think. From what I can tell, the dosage had no impact on the fish. There were no deaths and everyone's been behaving normally. I swear even the rocks inside the pond look cleaner. From what I've read, hydrogen peroxide's a powerful oxidizer. And I believe that means that it kind of eats the organic materials inside the pond. This makes me wonder if it will reduce the amount of organic particles that float around inside the water column as well. And if it could actually reduce the amount of organic waste or mould that accumulates on the bottom of the pond and covers the rocks. At the moment, I'm still waiting on a new batch of hydrogen peroxide but I'd now like to try it on this pond that's always accumulated a lot of organic material. I don't mind the mould, and I've mentioned a lot that it provides a great amount of natural food to the fish. But if the hydrogen peroxide could reduce the amount of it and give me less maintenance, then I'm certainly intrigued. So I'll test it out and make a video if it's a success. If there's no future video, you know it didn't work. Now, I should mention some things that made me wary of using this product. From what I've read, the hydrogen peroxide reduces the amount of heterotrophic bacteria in the pond, and this is your good bacteria. In one of the articles I was reading, it also allowed some of the bad chloroforms to increase in number, things like the nasty stuff found in duck poo. The good news is, is that hydrogen peroxide is basically water with an extra bit of oxygen. So as it does its thing, it increases the oxygen level inside the pond. We know that this helps the good bacteria, so I'm hoping that the population will very quickly rebound. 
In my reading, it was also interesting that the hydrogen peroxide didn't kill off all types of algae. I can see on this footage that there's still some biofilms that the small fish and snails are grazing on, so that's promising. The other good news is the hydrogen peroxide is all natural. Apparently certain bacterial processes produce it naturally anyway, so that makes me more at ease. And it makes me think it's no different to adding bacteria or things that promote diatome growth. I don't think it's something I want to be adding every week or anything like that, but it could be useful for stubborn algae issues. Algae reproduces via spores, so adding a treatment when you start to see the beginning of an outbreak could be quite beneficial. If you have a lot of algae, make sure you've got plenty of aeration because if you kill a lot of algae all at once, it can crash the oxygen levels inside the pond and that can be a disaster for the fish or the other animals. I'll put some common dosage numbers that I've seen in the description, but remember every pond is different and the situation is different. So start with smaller dosages and work your way up. Like I mentioned, I use 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I'm thinking it's pretty hard to OD on such a low percentage. But in the future, if it's something I'm going to use more regularly, it might make more sense economically to buy a stronger concentration, but I'll keep you posted if that's something I look into. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, the thumbs up button would love a tickle. Thanks for watching. See ya.